You know, a couple of weeks ago I did a review about iPad Mini 5 and I emphasized one point there. It's the fact that iPad Mini 5 in 2021 is really not that worth. Yes, I repeat that, it's not that worth to buy brand new iPad Mini 5 right now. And the reason for that is iPad Mini 6. Because it's literally gonna come like a few weeks from now. Some most leaks suggest it's gonna be March event if it's gonna happen and probably it's gonna happen. And in that case, what's the point of buying iPad mini 5? I mean, it's a great device, don't get me wrong. I think it was one of the best investments I ever made. Great spent money on the education, creativity, entertainment this thing provided me. But that's not gonna change the fact that I just can't recommend you a thing that has been on the market for like two years and is gonna be replaced by newer tablet that's gonna offer better performance, better specification, possibly better design and simply gonna give you much better value, much better longevity over time. And the purpose of this video is not to trash an iPad mini 5 and talk that it's a bad device. It's not it's still probably the best small tablet that there is. I mean, it's almost eight inches, so it's pretty small tablet and show me the other tablet that is gonna be just as good. It has great performance, great screen, great capabilities, but that doesn't change the fact that the Mini 6 will have all of it and even better, will bring it to a certain newer level that Mini 5 just cannot reach. Is it bad? Is it gonna mean that when Mini 6 launches just suddenly the Mini 5 is gonna get bad? Absolutely not. I think it's gonna be even better. And the reason for that is that the prices will go down, people will wanna get rid of this product so they will, you know, sell it for you for much better price. Most people will get Mini 6 and you can get Mini 6 if you can, you know, brand new and it will give you a great value. But if you still wanna buy Mini 5, you just get Mini 5 for a better price. So everybody wins in that case because you're gonna have great two small tablets that both have great capabilities, great performance and stuff like that. It's just the Mini 6 will be slightly better. So if you are into the best of the best, you will get the best of the best for the price you're gonna have to pay. And if you wanna something that is a little bit less capable, it's still great and for much cheaper price, you're just gonna get Mini 5 and be totally okay with that. So the purpose of this video was not to show you that Mini 5 is suddenly bad, but rather to show you to wait, because you're gonna have many more possibilities when Mini 6 comes out, and Mini 5 will be much better deal then. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys today, since I think that many people are making the mistake of rushing into iPad mini 5 or the uh, 2020 iPad Pro that is gonna be replaced very soon. And that's not the way, you know, you will regret that. Honestly, I would if I just bought a new device and three weeks later, just the new one comes out with much better processor and other new features and everybody is talking about it. So I wanted to spare it to you. And that will be this for now. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, make sure to press the like button, smash that subscribe button and comment if you agree or disagree with me so we can have fun, nice discussions. Since, you know, I think personally that Mini 5 for the price and the new one is not really worth right now, but maybe you disagree. I would love to know your thoughts. And as always, be sure to be well. Until next time and peace.